In this video, I'm going to show you how to solve the Alex problem called predicting the qualitative acid base properties of metal cations. In this problem, you're going to be given the formulas of three ionic compounds, and you're going to be asked to predict whether the, the compound would produce an acidic solution, a basic solution, or a neutral solution. So here are some tips to get you started. All of our compounds are going to have a cation and also an anion. Every ionic compound has a cation and an anion. And one of the tricks that you have in this problem is to actually find the cation in these formulas and find the anion. If our cation comes from group 1A or 2A on the periodic table, it is a neutral cation, meaning it's going to produce a solution that has a pH of 7. All other cations are acidic. Now for our anions, if our anion is the chloride ion, the bromide ion, the iodide ion, the nitrate NO3- ion, or ClO4 minus, if it's any one of those anions, it is going to be, the anion is going to be neutral. Now this is not saying that the whole compound is neutral, this is just saying that the anion is neutral. And all other anions are basic. So when we're trying to decide if a compound is acidic or basic or neutral, we want to classify the cation and then also classify the anion and just kind of think about how they work together. So for our first one on here, I'm just going to write it larger. We have NH4Br, this first guy right here. In order to determine whether this is acidic or basic or neutral, we have to recognize which part of this is the cation and which part is the anion. It might be helpful for you to, for you to review the table of polyatomic ions when you're doing this um, that will help you find those polyatomic cations and anions. When we look at our cation, our cation is not coming out of group 1a or 2a on the periodic table. That would be something like the sodium ion, the potassium ion, etc. Et so that means because this is not a group 1a or 2a, this is an acidic cation. What about our anion? Our anion is bromide. It's one of our neutral anions. So this guy is neutral. So when you put these two together in solution, the bromide ion, because it's neutral, is not doing anything for the pH of the solution. The NH4 plus, however, is causing the solution to be acidic. And that means that overall, this is going to be an acidic solution. So that's basically all you have to do with this problem. Let's just kind of take a look at the next one. The next one we have KNO3. You're again going to need to be able to separate the cation from the anion to know the formula of the cation and the formula of the anion. Our cation is in, um, this one is in group 1A on the periodic table. So that means that this is a neutral cation. Our anion is the NO3 minus, which is also neutral. So here we have a neutral cation with a neutral anion. That's just going to be a neutral solution. The last one that we have here on our list is KCN. We have K plus and CN minus. K plus, as we just saw, is neutral. CN minus is not one of these five neutral anions, which means that it is basic. We have a neutral cation with a basic anion. The basic anion is going to take over. The solution as a whole is going to be basic. 